Have you ever thought about why you eat? I know it's like you have to and you need it, but like, is that the only reason you eat? I know for me and for a lot of people, we eat for a variety of reasons. And one of them is the kind of essential reason we eat, which is sustenance. Our body needs to eat in order to get all those nutrients inside so it can do all the things it needs to do. Uh, nutrients can contribute to body structure, to our anatomy. For instance, most of our body, about 60 to 70% of our body is water, and that water is packed within our cells, giving structure to our body. Plus, we have a lot of protein in our body as well, like our hair, our skin, our muscles. Those are all really packed full of protein as well. So we need food for the structure of our body, but we also need it to be able to do things. Every single different nutrient has some sort of physiological role in the body. And in addition, of course, we need certain nutrients, the energy yielding nutrients, to provide energy. Here in Canada, we measure energy in kilocalories. Uh, one kilocalorie is the amount of energy needed to increase the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. Different nutrients have different amounts of calories in each gram. So for instance, carbs and proteins provide about four kilocalories per gram, whereas lipids provide nine kilocalories per gram. Alcohol also provides energy to the body, seven kilocalories per gram, but it is not a nutrient, as you well know, because we don't need it for survival or for growth or, or maintenance of our body. I purposely picked this picture as far as why we eat and for the concept of sustenance because it kind of incorporates everything. We need body structure to be able to move our body around, to be able to have the strength, to have the structure, to move in space. But of course, we need the various nutrients to do their job in order so, so we can move. And we need energy to fuel those processes as well. So of course we eat because we need to for sustenance, but we also eat because it's fun, because it's social, because it's enjoyable. And some of us sometimes eat as well beyond just the enjoyment of food for psychological reasons. So I'm sure you've noticed that sometimes when you're bored or when you're sad or when you're really happy or when other things are going on, maybe your eating patterns might change. For instance, individuals who are dealing with depression, sometimes they eat more when they are, are dealing with a depression, and some individuals that are going through depression actually tend to eat less. So our food patterns can change with our psychological states as well. And it's a good it's a good message here to just reflect on the various reasons that you do eat and you know, if you're concerned that you're eating too much or too little, something to think about in the moment is why are you deciding to eat or not to eat in this moment? Because at the end of the day, we want to make sure that we're getting everything our body needs, getting adequate amounts of nutrients, but not so much that it could potentially increase the risk of disease. So finding that balance where we're providing what our body needs but not causing harm is one of our primary goals within nutrition.